to the pink. You might want to push the some of the rubber bands down, but if you don't, it's okay. You don't have to. Now get this purple. Whoopsies. Almost messed up again. Now get this purple, sorry. And hook it up. So now it should look like this on this side. Now get this pink and hook it up. Now you get this purple and hook it up. Get this pink, hook it up. Get this purple and hook it up. Remember to get under each rubber band that is in your way. And under this, get the purple I will show you this two more times, and then I will go faster. Okay, so you grab this pink rubber band, and then bring it up, like that. Then you're going to grab this purple rubber band and bring it up. Grab this pink, and bring it up. And grab this purple and then bring it up. Alright, continue this until the end. Remember, first pink, then purple. First pink, then purple. That's the most important part is pattern. I'll show you how to do the very last one. You get this purple, then hook it up. Then you get this pink, and then hook it up. Sorry, hold on. Now that you have done, done this, it should look like that. Now, before you do anything else, Look over it and make sure that there are no rubber bands that you have left out. And if there aren't any, you did it exactly right. Now, we are going to do, be doing the white part, which is the part that holds it all together. Now, you are going to go to the end with your capping band. Hold on, I messed up. Well, not in the bracelet, but I messed up right here because I overlapped it. Um, now you're going to your, go to your capping band, get under it. We're going to do my right side first. We're going to do this side first. You're going to get under the capping band and bring it up to there, like that. You could do that to both sides right now or when you do the, this side. This side you could do it then, but I'm going to do it now. So, so far you should have it like that. Now you're going to do that. And keep doing, get it under all of them until the very bottom one. And keep bringing it up like this. Oops, the wrong, Oops, wrong side. Hold on. Okay, like that. Keep doing it all the way up to here. And again, the arrows are facing towards you. Whoops, sorry. all the way up until where I told you to. Okay. Once you have gotten up to here, you're going to get under them and pull this one up and hook it on to there. You might want to push this one down a little bit. This one down. These are bands down. Okay. Now, you're going to do this side. 
if you already have done this one, then that's great because now we only have to do all the way up to here. Stop up to here again. So remember, just like the other side, up, hooked on, down, all the way down, grab it, on, up, on, up, and on. Do this until here. Oops. And stop where I told you to. Once you've gotten to here, hook the last rubber band. Okay, we are not done. We still have to get a color. Okay, so get a color to use. I'm going to get my purple. But first, before you do anything, Put your hook through this pe this peg and make and stick it out like that. Now get your rubber band, your colored rubber your rubber band, and pull it through. This might be a little hard at first. Pull it through and then put then put this rubber band on. Now we are going to take the bracelet off, and there will be two rubber bands that will will be coming off. I think at least two, maybe one. I'm not sure. Hold on. And they're going to be, I think, my pink. This is hard to take off, but not as hard as it looks. Well, not as well. It's going to be hard, but it's not going to be hard if you know how to take off a starburst. Okay, since you have taken off two rubber bands, this is what it should look like. I know it looks a little crazy, but that's because of sometimes how you hooked it. But that's the best part of it because it looks fancy, it looks cool, and... It just looks different than all the other rubber bands. So now you're going to do your extension. Okay? Now you get whatever colors you want that are in the bracelet. I'm going to start with my white. Make sure the arrows are facing away from you. Then you're going to do white. Whatever color you want next. Mine's pink. Then my next color is purple. Then I'm doing, sorry, another white, and then a purple. I mean pink, sorry. When you are, when you are done, to, when you get to your wrist size, stop at the colors that you have. Stop at the color, because you need a pattern to it. And my pattern is going white, pink, purple, white, pink, purple. But... You see this purple rubber band right here? You're going to take it off, put, well, before, stretch it out, and put your two fingers, and then slide it off. Then, you're going to go like that, put it onto that one, and to that one, so it's, it looks like part of the bracelet. Now, we're going to hook it. We're going to grab this pink one, grab this white one, and it's okay if this comes off. Because it's going to come off anyway. Grab this paint, purple one. This pink one. And then this white one. Before you rip it off, take this pink one. I mean, per, uh, white one. And put it on to this. Hold on. Then put it on to these hooks. These pegs. Then, you're going to get your clip, an S clip or a C clip or any kind of clip that you have, and clip it on to the two white rubber bands. 
so it stays still. Like, so it doesn't get off of anything. Okay, now you could rip it off. Like that. So far, it should be looking like this. Now, you're going to hook it together. You're going to find your capping band, which is basically right here. Hold on, let me get it. Which is basically this right here. You're going to put your two fingers in it. And then you're going to do this. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you like your bracelet. Thank you for watching, and make sure to tell people about it. Thank you.